So last week I made a post saying that I would quite literally read every single one of your recommendations and I made the rules pretty simple. It could only be one per person, I was only going to be reading the first five chapters and the rest was entirely up to you. I even made sure to mention that you'd be allowed to recommend anything from a 0 out of 10 dog water piece of shit or you could have, you know, just recommended me your personal favorite story of all time. Now, to me, knowing that this channel only has like a couple hundred subscribers, I was expecting to maybe receive like three, five, ten recommendations? In less than 24 hours, there were already more than 30 recommendations. I may not be good at math, but even I know that's 150 chapters to read. It got out of hand so quickly. Some people were even starting to get concerned. Some were saying that this idea was unrealistic, that I should cut it down to a top 10 or just turn back and accept how fucking stupid this video idea was. And you know what? There's no way I would ever read 150 chapters of your stupid fucking recommendations. Don't look at the timestamp. Yeah, so I read 150 chapters. It wasn't that hard to tell, because, I mean, you obviously could have just looked at the timestamp. So over the span of two days, I recorded myself reading and reacting to every single one of your recommendations. Some were good. But some were so bad. But some were pretty good. But there were so many that made me regret ever having eyes. I was actually asked to check out a variety of different things, ranging from manhwa, to manga, to comic books, to hentai, to web novels, to even more hentai, to did I mention how many hours I had to spend reading hentai? Am I the only one that feels like that's fucking absurd? One of you literally told me to check out Chainsaw Man. Bro, did you really just unironically ask me to check out Chainsaw Man? Do you even watch my videos? Okay, so. Here's how I'm gonna try to go about this. In order for me to avoid making a six hour long video, I'm gonna try to keep things as short as possible. This is the list of everything that I'll be reading. I might give like my first impressions, slash thoughts, slash review, slash I have no fucking clue. Probably just gonna see how this goes because I don't even know how long this is gonna take. There's gonna be very minimal editing throughout this, but I'll try to make sure to leave timestamps for each request that I'll be taking. And I'll also include the username of the person that recommended it to me you can feel free to skip between any of these timestamps or you can just go straight to the one that you recommended all right i am very scared but strap in let's go this first one comes from ashkir abdullahi and he asked me to read a manga called Bake Gaiamon. I don't know if I even pronounced that correctly and he said that it's kind of like pokemon but better so i just want to ask you ashkir where did you even find this fucking manga? I searched everywhere, and there was not a single way for me to either read it or even purchase it. So then I gave up and decided that maybe I could find the anime instead. But this was also just as hard to find. But I did. I found the anime. I'm gonna watch the first episode instead. I'm sorry, I don't know if you asked me to either read it or watch it, but we're just gonna watch it and it'll probably have the same exact effect. Um... Okay! Listen, man, I will not judge somebody based on their personal preference, okay? You can like whatever you want, but comparing this to Pokemon is a fucking crime. I was waiting to see what the Pokemon in this world would look like, and... <laughs> like, dude, that's not even a Pokemon. That's just a guy. It's even worse because instead of doing something cool, like throwing a ball to some of them, these guys just have to swipe a fucking debit card. Listen, man, I can't even be one to judge because I genuinely think this anime is a 10 out of 10. But if I was left between the decision of either watching this show or Pokemon, I think I'd rather jump off a fucking cliff. Okay, so at first when I didn't think that I'd get that many comments, I actually went on Discord to ask for some Manwa recommendations from some friends, and two seconds later, without any hesitation, I saw Audi responded with something called Hero Manager. And so I was like, cool, I wonder what it's about. <laughs> it's hentai. I am now going to have to spend the next half hour reading hentai. So I'm just gonna be real with you guys. Um, if you've ever seen this show, it's basically that, but instead of saving people, they just fuck. So I'd say the plot was an easy zero out of 10. But the plot, 
wasn't actually that bad. Okay, so we finally have our first manga. This next one comes from Sedna Has Indigestion, and he said I should go read Pumpkin Night. More specifically, that I should go read it because of how dog shit it is. I've been recommended to check this out before, but I just never got the chance, so we'll see if it's actually that bad or not. Okay, so first of all, either I'm crazy or you're crazy. I actually really like this manga. One of the reasons is because there's a part where a guy goes, BE GONE THOUGHT! Now don't get me wrong, the plot's dumb. Like, really, really dumb. Basically, there's this schoolgirl that used to get bullied and then decides to become a serial killer that wears a pumpkin on her head. So if you hate that part, I totally understand. But like, come on, man. You can't tell me the gore in this manga isn't cool as fuck to look at. And it's got very obvious inspiration from Junji Ito. This bitch kills her bullies in the most ridiculous ways possible. Like one of them, she just scrapes their eyeballs off. Another one, she stuffs them into a coffin and then burns them on fire. It's great, I unironically want to keep reading this. I give it a 12 out of 10. Next. Okay, so this next one comes from Abura, and he asked me to check out a manga called Kimiwa Mirada. Oh boy, I sure hope it's not something like hentai, because that would be ridiculous. Oh, look at, would you look at that? It's, it's hentai. So this guy likes this girl, this girl likes this guy, so then one day they like look at a fucking star and make a wish that they could be together. So then this god pillow thing hears them out and basically combines the rooms so now they just live together. And you know, when two people like each other and they live together, kind of implies that they won't be doing much bible studies. I actually like these two characters, not a bad recommendation. Mm, next! Okay, so this recommendation came from Lucy Skelding, and she said I should check out a manga called Toilet Bound Hanako-kun. Uh, I feel like I'm being trolled right now, but you seemed awfully excited about this one. I don't know how or why there's a manga called Toilet Bound Hanako-kun, but okay. So the toilet actually comes from a ghost that resides in toilets um but it actually wasn't that bad it's kind of like a wholesome slice of life version of these mangas mixed with blue flag i give it a six out of three next so this one comes from matthew and he said i should read ketamono uh I anyways he said he almost had a stroke just because of how bad it is so i can't wait Do yourself a favor, don't read this. Just don't fucking read this. I promise you, it's not worth your time. You have a girl and a creepy convenience store guy. It's all you need to know, just don't fucking read it. I give this a negative eight out of 10, and I'm gonna go get baptized real quick. Uh, so this one's from No Bones, and he specifically asked for me to pronounce the title of this manga during the video. Um, that's weird. I, I wonder why he would need me to say the title out loud. It's just a, it's just a manga called Dumb. gonna be needing a professional explanation as to why this manga was so good. Here's the thing, at a surface level, it's just about a guy trying to take revenge on his dad. Dude's half dog and half human, and he's even got a special ability called <laughs> Stop fucking time. But when you spend more time reading it, you realize that it has a weird amount of heart to it. Like there's points where the author just socks you in the face with feelings of loneliness and depression. I think it's also trying to parody a lot of tropes that you see in a stereotypical shonen. I I genuinely think this manga is beautiful. The author even has a YouTube channel. He's hilarious and shares stories about random shit that's happened in his life. One of the more recent videos being titled, I just got jumped at a Walmart. So the next manga I'll be reading comes from Whitfield1999. He said, here's one you'll never finish, Hajime no Ippo. And so I looked at how many chapters there are and there's over 1,200 chapters. So actually crazy enough, I would consider reading it one day. Now pretty much none of you know this, but Hajime no Ippo is actually my favorite anime of all time. I've been playing water polo for almost six years now, so I have an obsession with sports anime. To me, the Sendo versus Ippo fight is the greatest scene to ever exist in all of animation. I would literally watch that scene before for every tournament I go to. All my teammates would be ready to warm up and I would unironically watch this to get myself hyped up. So anyways, it's time to check out the manga. Okay, it's, it's fucking perfect. 
So the next manga I'll be reading comes from Egg, uh, and he asked me to check out a manga called Oshinoko. I'll see you all in five chapters. Why would you force me to read something like this, bro? What the fuck did I ever do to you? Um, so there's like this doctor, and he's a really big fan of this idol, and this idol is having twins. So then, right before she gives birth, the doctor gets stabbed, and then he gets reborn. <laughs> Life. Uh, so this next one comes from Evan Smallwood, and he recommended me to check out Gachi Akuta. Solid, solid, solid characters, solid art style. I liked it. There's this really funny part that goes like, All right, I think I'm gonna try to smile. Draws a lot of inspiration from Chainsaw Man, so obviously I'm inclined to enjoy a manga like this. The only thing is that I don't want to call things too early and say it's something amazing when there's only a few chapters out right now, but it is something I'll keep an eye on and see if it gets any better. I give it a 6 out of 4. Next! So this one's from Eli the Sandwich, and he thought it was a good idea to recommend me 20th Century Boys. Five chapters does not even scratch the fucking surface for what this story entails. You don't have the slightest bit of a clue as to the psychological damage that you will experience by the end of the story. So this one comes from my boy Stock, and he asked me to check out the Pokemon Adventure series, which I will now be referring to as the worst version of Bakagayaman. Do you notice how these things look like actual pets slash animals slash monsters slash have a somewhat cool design and aren't horrifying to look at? I'm just kidding, I'm, I'm giving you a hard time. But this manga is pretty similar to the show, except this Pikachu is fucking hilarious. There's a part where he looks absolutely unimpressed with how Red caught him. I know you even said that there probably won't be much I can get out of five chapters, but I can already tell that it stands on its own separate from the show. It, to me, it just feels like the characters have a lot more personality. Part of it is because Red actually feels like a cocky piece of shit, and he's like an actual kid, as opposed to Ash, who basically has the personality of an almond. I give it a 64 out of 27. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your new favorite game show called Is It Manga or Is It Hentai? Place your votes now and we will decide if this next recommendation by Frilfus Frilfus is horny or not. Oh, it looks like the results are already in. It's... What did you... What did you expect? It's... It's obviously fucking hentai. <sighs> so this chick lives in a village. That village gets invaded. That same chick finds a magic sword. This sword gives her powers. So then she uses those powers to turn the invaders into sexy women. And then another power is that she grows a massive dick. So then she basically uses those powers to f I hate the fact that I read this. But what I hate more is that it's actually pretty good. Uh, so this one's not actually a manga. I think it's like an interactive web series. It was recommended by Cooper Capine. I might completely do this wrong, but we'll see how it goes. Right, so um, that was something. I basically played as this dude in a room, and you can pick whatever activity to make him do, so I chose to make him play this medieval game where you play as a singing bard, and then the game lets you pick what kind of song you want to sing. So I chose the option where I sang about his wife, uh, which then led to my character dying because it turns out the king is gay. Um, nice? Next recommendation comes from my boy Hater Truman. Um, for those of you who don't know, this guy's literally like one of my first five subscribers. I hate this video so much. I don't even know why it has so many views. Like to this day, I'm genuinely confused as to why anyone would listen to anything I have to say. But anyhow, uh, in my last vid, I mentioned that I was gonna be reading Sunken Rock. So he actually recommended that I check out Origin, which is done by the same author, Boichi. So I can't wait. What? What the? It, it, uh, this is the fucking coolest panel to ever exist. 
Okay, so now I'll be reading Undead Unluck, which was recommended by Tunafish. So there's a guy who can't die, and he meets a girl that makes people die. Really good story, funny characters, I like the art style, it's one of the best selling mangas in Shonen Jump. But I just can't shake the feeling that the author might be an incel. With my holy blade in pure heart, I have come to end thee! Ah yes, come to me, noble warrior! Let the black wave of death crush over me! Your time has come, dreadlord! Ah! Wait, hold on! Shut up! Have you had sex before? Um, well, yeah. You said you were of pure heart? Well, I am. I've just had You've had sex, man! Get the fuck out of here! Steve Lickman's a web series that's basically The Office, but the characters are all dungeon bosses instead. I had this one recommended to me by Random Dude 707 and I had a great time. Just, you know, dudes being dudes, guys being guys. If you want to have a good laugh, then I highly recommend you check out their website. Okay, so this one's from 2 plus 4 times 5, which is equal to 69. Um, and they asked me to check out a web novel called Worm. Okay, so as someone who absolutely sucks at writing, reading something like this pisses me off so much because it is genuinely so good. Worms about a high school girl who recently had an awakening of her new superpowers, and the first five chapters kind of go over some of the tough situations that usually get glossed over. Like, there's a pretty funny part where the main character gets bullied and she just has to accept this, knowing that she's literally capable of mutilating anyone that fucks with her if she wanted to. I wish I could write anywhere near the level and quality of that this author does. There's a paragraph where they basically describe what having pure anger feels like, and I'm not gonna lie, it's worded beautifully. Good read. Just kidding, P.U. Reading is crazy. So, Guillotine Chophead recommended that I read this manga called Alice in Borderland. I've heard a ton of great things about this, so I can't wait. Dude. I am such a massive fan now. Basically, imagine any arcade game turn into a life or death situation, and if you lose, then that means an alien laser beam from the sky will fucking maul you. Great read. Thank you for recommending this, not only because it wasn't hentai, but because it was an actually good manga. All right, so this one comes from the Bry Guy, and he asked me to read Inside Mari. A manga about loneliness in college. <laughs> I definitely did not relate to this at all. So this one's from Filip Stankovic, and he actually wanted me to check out his own personal webtoon that he's working on called Spiral Highway. More specifically, he asked me to roast it. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I wouldn't know how to roast it, because I can't even draw a circle properly. Okay, just so you know that I'm not fucking kidding, while I'm editing this, I'm gonna try to go on MS Paint and draw a circle. God, that was so bad. I don't really feel the need to roast this because one, you drew stuff like this that actually looks really sick, and two, I'll never criticize someone who's just trying to pursue a passion on the side. Listen, man, you went out of your way to make something that no one asked you to do, and jokes aside, I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so this one's from Glitch Trader, and he said I should read a manhwa called The Horizon. I will see you guys in five chapters. Okay, so the first thing I want to note is the absolutely fucking beautiful art style. I cannot believe that this is the quality that you would get from a fucking manhwa. It's also just like a really intense story about this little kid trying to survive in a post-apocalyptic world. It's one of those cases where I can't really get much out of five chapters, but so far from what I read, it was absolutely beautiful. Even just look at this panel, bro. It looks like Mob Psycho is about to go like a thousand percent. So far, we've been on a good streak of just no hentai. I think we are good. We're good. No more hentai. Anyway, so the next manga I'll be reading is Prison School. God fucking damn it! <laughs> the plot's actually not that bad. Okay, I know for sure that this one, I'm good. Like, I'm completely safe and it's for two reasons one this recommendation is the boys and i've seen this show before already and it's really good and two is because it's 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 from my boy corbro and he knows better i 
think there's something wrong with me. I think there's genuinely something wrong with me. First of all, they censored so much in the actual show. And second of all, there is so much fucking. I'm actually losing my mind. I'm actually losing my fucking mind here. Okay, so this one is Gantz. And I've already read this. I already know that half this manga is fan service. I'm gonna make a video about it one day. You cannot surprise me because I've already read this, okay? You can't get me this time because I've already read it. Oh my God, what a surprise. It's actually good. That's so crazy. It's almost like I was already planning on making a video on it. Wow, woohoo! Next. Next one I'll be reading is from Asmodeus Guy, and he asked me to read this manga called Itsuwaribito. So I think it's a pretty good story and I like the art style, but one thing that really bothered me was that I don't think I really agree with the general message of this manga. Uh, so basically the main character told the truth one time and it got a whole bunch of people killed. And so I know that sucks, but now he just like spends the rest of his life saying that he's gonna be a Sigma male and just lie about literally everything. Again, everything about this was pretty good. You know, the art style, the dialogue, I really like the theme of this story, but it was getting a bit annoying that they would just bring up that theme every five seconds. Well, you think that lying is lying. I actually lying. All right, so next one I'll be reading is from Nitin Priyadarshi, and he asked me to read Dead Dead Demons by the dude who made Pun Pun, so I'm both scared and excited. I think Pun Pun has just fucking scarred me because I was just constantly on edge while reading this, making sure that at no point Inio Asuna was gonna fuck with my emotions and just like destroy a person that I really like. From what I know, from the five chapters that I read, it was pretty wholesome. I liked it. One, because the artwork of Inio Asuna is like irreplaceable. I can't even conceptualize how the fuck somebody can draw to the quality that he does, but also just because a lot of his stories feel really down to earth. He's never trying to make it really depressing or like make it like cry bait. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. And I also know that an anime is coming out, so you can probably expect that to be good. Damn, I think that's like my first ever actually proper serious review so far in this video. And we're like 22 minutes in. All right, so this one's from Alligator Ghost, and he asked me to check out a manga called Totsukuni no Shoujo. By the way, I just want to leave a note that if you've made it this far, I don't know what's wrong with you. You should probably get that checked out. This has to be the most deep fried, unhinged, stupid piece of shit video idea I both had and made. But thank you. You're very much appreciated. Okay, so this gave me massive Promise Neverland vibes. Again, it sucks because there's only so much I can take away from five chapters, but it's very obvious that there's a much bigger mystery going on in the picture of this small story about a little girl and this wolf man. Stylistically, it obviously looks very different from Promise Neverland, and I hope it doesn't shit the bed like Promise Neverland did. Okay, so this one comes from Richie the Dreamer, and he asked me to check out a manga called Susu no Free Run. Um, so we'll see y'all in exactly 20 minutes and 8 seconds. I'm not fucking crying. This is kind of like an anti-isekai where the story takes place at the end of someone's hero's journey. The story is told from the perspective of an elf that never ages. And the reason why I'm so mellow now is that it's basically a manga where you watch this person witness all of her friends literally just grow old and die, <laughs> which like, damn. It has a lot to do with how we perceive time and what we do with it, which had me feeling a lot of different things. It's honestly a good read. I might continue this after I go back and finish the other seven mangas I said that I do that to. But yeah, good read. I give it a 52 out of six. This next one's from Tiago, and he left a comment saying that I should check out a manga called The Fable. I will see you guys in a bit. Um, so like, I pressed record, and then I just didn't stop reading. I read the entire manga. It was fucking amazing. I can't really explain why. Tiago, you did it, my man. 
you recommended something that might even be a contender for like a top three. This is both the funniest and most enticing manga I've read all year. Like there's this part where this world-class assassin has to pretend that he's tired while running and he just looks like he's having the time of his life. And another part where two people flirting at a bar is presented in the same manner as a fucking UFC fight. The fable is a story that's as simple as it gets. It's about the world's greatest assassin trying to live a normal life. But what entails from this is some of the most exceptional, hilarious, and unparalleled piece of storytelling to ever exist. This is not just a manga. From start to finish, it is the definition of the definition of perfection. It is the most fun I've had reading in the last year since Chainsaw Man. And you should hold that statement to its highest degree. Tiago, I cannot thank you enough for recommending me something like this. This was the last and final recommendation. It's finally over. And holy shit, what a way to end it. I can finally say that I'm free. It's been two days of reading 30 different recommendations, three weeks of editing those recommendations, five of them which I had to entirely censor, which added up to over two hours of reading straight up porn. You, yes you, for whatever reason, chose to stick along that for the whole way. Fear, joy, pain, suffering, excitement. You were there for every single part of it. And to that I have to say, thank you. I have nothing else to say, but thank you. I know I probably came off a little mean or unhinged in this one, but I am genuinely so flattered that this many people commented on that post. I just didn't want to end up making a video that was like, um, so, uh, that was a manga and, um, it was interesting and it had a lot going for it. Thank you for contributing to what ended up being just about the stupidest video idea I have ever thought of. So far, I've made seven videos recommending you guys pieces of media to check out, so I felt like it was about time that it was the other way around. It's also probably a good time to mention that I'm quitting. For a little bit, just during the month of May, 